Chen has been following an ongoing homicide investigation in Holmes County. Today, authorities held a press conference about that investigation. Ileana Capian has the information. Started off as a sexual assault case in Jackson County, ended in a way that the lead investigator never expected. The body of Raul Embrys Gillian was found just off of the property here behind me late Tuesday evening. May, I received a report of a sexual assault of a female victim in our county. The victim at the time did not know who her assailant was. Uh, approximately a month later, she contacted me and advised me that she knew who her assailant was and uh, named him as. William Shane Parker. The victim of the sexual assault case, the assailant William Shane Parker and Raul Ambriz Guillen were all acquaintances. Guillen and the victim were roommates in Jackson County for two months, but there's no tie between the rape and the murder aside from all of the individuals running in the same crowd. Later, she con the same victim contacted me and advised me that some of the friends of William Shane Parker had arrived at her house early in the morning. Um, this was about mid-July, saying that Raul had been murdered. Edwards began investigating Guillen's disappearance after receiving calls from Guillen's daughter. This led the Jackson County Sheriff's Office to start working the case with the Houston County Sheriff's Office. We had a possible missing person uh, that Jackson County had taken a report and got with our investigators and they were working together on it and the victim at some time lived in Houston County. Valenza applauds all of the work done by the several law enforcement agencies involved. When you're talking multiple agencies, multiple counties, but when you start talking states, that really gets complicated. And for agencies to be able to work together through several counties going into another state with several counties, that, that's really well. At the end of the day, Edwards is happy to be able to provide some closure to Guillen's family. There have been three arrested and charged in correlation with this case so far, but as we receive more information, we will keep you up to date as we receive it. Covering local news first in Holmes County, Ileana Capellan, WDHN. Back to you guys in the studio.